All right, the clocks just hit zero in South Beach. Your final score, the Nuggets 104, the Heat 94. The Nuggets taking a two games to one lead in this NBA Finals. They retake home court advantage after a masterful performance from Nikola Jokic and Jamal Murray. They really, really stepped it up tonight after losing game two at home for the first time since March. They lost a home game. They really played with intensity urgency tonight and they dominated for what felt like two and a half quarters or so in this game completely dominated the second half really put the heat up against the wall now with game four in Miami still I mean where to start with this kind of an ugly game to start all around the heat didn't come out shooting like they did in game two missed some open shots there were still some defensive breakdowns from the Nuggets. We still see some of those lapses, but they did a great job of cleaning this up in the second half. Really tightened the screws, turned on this defense, but it was kind of an ugly game, kind of all over the place, slow, lots of turnovers from Denver early. Tony Brothers really inserted himself in this game. Some atrocious calls in the first half, really a couple offensive fouls on the Nuggets and three crucial fouls on Gabe Vincent that felt very, very soft. Never got into a rhythm tonight after a huge game two. He had a lackluster performance. What did he finish with? I think he had seven points. Great, uh, Max Strews, horrible after a good game two. Awful game one, good game two, awful game three. Jimmy Butler and Bam Adebayo were your leaders for the Heat. But man, the game was ugly. Felt like the Heat were playing stronger in that second quarter, but Jamal Murray really turned it on. The Heat were going on a really nice run, putting the Nuggets. I think the Heat got up eight on them and were really putting them in an awkward spot. They weren't hitting shots, and Jamal Murray hit tough basket after tough basket to get the Nuggets back in. They ended up going up five going into the half, which was very manageable, but man, the game turned in the th third quarter, really got out of hand fast. They got up 19. Now the Heat did a really good job of getting that back down to 14. I think going into that uh, going into that fourth quarter, it was 19. It sh probably should have been a little bit higher than that, but a bunch, couple of late buckets by Jimmy Butler got this thing back. So the game seemed manageable, but Nikola Jokic slammed the door shut. Huge, huge night for him. The first 30-point, 20-rebound, triple-double in NBA Finals history. And what about the bench? The bench for the Nuggets and the role players, that's who I was asking for. They did shit. And they were kind of shit again. Aaron Gordon, another strong game, 11 points, 10 rebounds. But Christian Brown, the guy out of Kansas, championship DNA, he is a winner. Huge night, 7 of 8 from the floor, 15 points. I liked what I saw out of him in game two. I thought he was a bright spot for that Nuggets team. I thought he should have gotten more minutes in game two. He got him tonight. Big, big impact off the bench for them. And Jamal Murray. I asked for a big Jamal Murray game. Jamal Murray gave us a big game. Like I said, really set the tempo. Did not come out slow like they did in game two. Got them out of tough situations. Hit big shot after big shot. They ballooned this lead up to 21 in the second half. The Heat cut it back down. It was getting a little dicey there. Murray hit a big shot to then kind of end that run. And then I don't love the way the Nuggets ended this game. Miami cut it to six or cut it to nine with about a minute left. And there was an offensive foul call on Murray that honestly, I do not know why Spolstra did not review us or challenge this. It was possibly a flagrant. Murray hits um, Martin in the head with an elbow. Martin had a better game tonight. Not what we've seen from him in the past. But coming off the bench, he had an okay game. He had 10 points. Was 4 of 9 from the field. 2 of 5 from 3. So he had a decent night. Duncan Robinson, again, another big 3. He had a couple of big 3s to cut this lead down. But man, no review on the flagrant. The Heat take the ball out. Bam misses a pull-up mid-range, and he missed a wide-open, blistering hot Duncan Robinson that could have cut it to six, and if Bam hits it, would have cut it to seven with a little over a minute left, and the most of the, it was just a weird end to that game. He doesn't hit the shot. The Nuggets hit their free throws. They empty the benches, and the Nuggets take game two. I loved what I saw from Denver. They attacked the zone. No, Jokic was catching that ball 
everywhere he wanted to, was attacking it, did a much better job of facilitating. Still only 10 assists, which feel a little low for Jokic, but the big story in this game, honestly, was off the glass. The Nuggets dominated the rebound game. Unbelievable. 58-33, to they out-rebounded the Heat. A massive differential. Most of these numbers have been pretty even throughout the series, except for the three-point percentage. 31% for the Heat, 27.8 for the Nuggets. Again, the Heat did not shoot well tonight, and that was the same story in Game 1 after a blistering Game 2. If they don't hit their threes, they're not going to have enough offense to compete with this Nuggets team. They really struggle to score the ball when they're not hitting threes. And they had open looks again. Like I said, there were some defensive lapses early in this game where the Heat felt like they could have pushed this lead out maybe to 10, 12, 15 and they just could not hit open shots, and they couldn't hit the shots down the stretch to cut this lead after the big turnaround by the Nuggets. So that was big, but like I said, dominated the glass, 58-33, to big-time offensive boards for them, and points in the paint, 60 points in the paint to 34 points in the paint. After Bam had a nice game, like I said, 22, I think, from Bam. Really, really just a dominant performance from the Nuggets all around. The panic button is over. I wasn't panicking about the Nuggets. A lot of people picked the Heat tonight. I was not feeling good about the Heat. I thought the Nuggets would respond in this way. It's now a must-win for the Heat in Game 4. I believe that game's on Saturday for them. But yeah, must-win for the Heat now. You can't go down 3-1 heading back to Denver it's a big, big, big game. Probably the biggest game in Miami since 2013. Maybe 2014 when they were in the NBA Finals. You know, it's that simple. Oh, no, it is Friday. It is Friday. The game is Friday night in Miami. So only one day's off. We've been getting two days off. They're only getting one day's off. Makes sense. Friday's a primetime night for this kind of game. Really, really, really strong performance for the Nuggets. I'll be interested to see how the Heat respond it just feels like they don't have enough offense if they aren't hitting their shots. The undrafted guys are not giving them what they gave them against Boston. And credit to Denver, they have turned up the defense, made things uncomfortable for them. I'd be happy if I was a Heat fan seeing Jimmy Butler have a big game tonight, a bounce back game. And he was hitting buckets to try and keep them in this game. He did a good job keeping this and they just couldn't get that lead carved out. But let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are the Nuggets taking game three or game four and putting this bad boy away? Or is it going to go B2-2 heading back to Denver? Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Again, like this video. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. Share this video with your friends. And I'll see you all tomorrow.